Hello, welcome to today's video. If you're watching today's video in the future and wondering why I have hair that's far too long for me, it's because it's still in lockdown and I haven't had a chance to go to a hairdresser because they're not open and I can't go to one. But today we're going to be discussing the five effects lockdown will have on electric vehicles. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Lockdown has had some benefits and one of the benefits is the air quality in the UK and around the world is seriously improved, massively improved. There's, there's not as much uh, diesel trucks on the road. There's not as much as ice vehicles on the road. There's less traffic on the road altogether. This has created less pollution, less PM2s. People know that the air quality is better. People have commented and mentioned how much cleaner the air quality has got since lockdown because of the lack of PM2s, trucks, diesels, petrol cars, everything on the road, it's not there. And because of this, people are going to remember this very well. And this, in my mind, will have a seriously positive effect on electric vehicles because people now know that with less vehicles on the road, the air quality in city centres, towns, is seriously improved and asthma sufferers have noticed a noticeable difference in the quality of their life. And if you're one of these people that's noticed these benefits, please let me know down below in the comments. And if you're not an EV driver and you've suddenly started researching EV since COVID-19, then again, let me know in the comments because I, I do believe there is more of you. And I've even had it mentioned by some of my neighbors how they also think that people are more interested in electric vehicles now. They've noticed the benefits of having less vehicles on the road, creating pollution from diesel trucks, diesel fumes, petrol fumes, all these terrible particulates I, I think people don't want to go back to the way it was number two is a little bit of a cheat and that is EVs are going to be an important part of balancing the grid now during lockdown we have seen ultra low demand because factories are closed restaurants are closed schools are closed and this has created a big problem for the national grid which is they can't deal they are suffering to deal with such ultra low demand an extremely high wind and solar energy. Prices on the national grid have gone negative quite a lot during during lockdown. And as some of you may know, that I interviewed Greg from Octopus a couple of weeks ago, and we discussed one of his tariffs, which is called Agile, which tracks um, prices going you know negative and also quite expensive during peak times. And I've switched to that, and I've been paid to charge my car up since I switched to that tariff. If you are thinking, by the way, of joining Octopus, there's a link down below in the description below that you get a £50 credit when you join. They do Agile, which is where prices go negative and sometimes uh, go ultra high. But I'm going to do a review on that, that tariff soon, as soon as I've got enough data to compare it to Octopus Go. Octopus Go is 5p electric at night and 14p during peak. So there's two tariffs there so i will talk about that in a bit but the reason why evs are going to be an important part about dealing with this peak and why i think there's going to be more investment from external companies is vehicle to grid systems could have helped balance the grid during lockdown a lot better they could have sucked in that excess wind that excess solar stop prices going negative on the grid but still they would have been very low people would have been filling their batteries up for pence um you know which often does happen but even if they're being paid minus pence and then when that peak comes when everyone's turning their ovens on cooking the teas turning the kettles on then that's when the vehicle to grid system of all these cars that are eventually just plugged in all day could have disloaded back to the grid so more of these cars during lockdown stuff like this is going to help people balance the grid better and i think there's going to be more investment from private companies and even maybe from the national grid to develop these technologies and put them into place to deal with stuff that, like this that could happen again we don't know how other viruses may work in the future if more people are going to start working from home we don't know how the grid demand is going to cope and with more wind and solar energy entering the grid it is more and more important to balance the grid and this lockdown has shown how important that is now before i move on to number three i just want to ask you to one little thing if you do not watch my videos every week every week i make videos about electric vehicles the industry around electric vehicles so the energy net industry all kinds of filled information like that 
if you are interested in learning more about electric vehicles, there's a subscribe button down below. Click that button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I make a new video. It's very important, so let me know what you want as an audience. Let me know in the comments every week if you've enjoyed a video. Make sure you interact. It's very important that you know, and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending if you liked or disliked the video. It gives me an indication of what you want, and it's a sign to Google Google and YouTube that you are watching my videos and you're interacting with what content you want. Now, number three, most manufacturers stopped production, all production during lockdown. Now, this is gonna cause two issues for them. One, they've not made any cars. Two, people are more aware about EVs and they've had time to do some research during lockdown. I've seen a absolute spike in video views all over YouTube on my videos of people obviously wanting to research and learn more about EVs. So they, they, they've got this opportunity, manufacturers have got this opportunity to retool their factories while buying power is low. There's going to be less people buying cars for a little short period and that, that's to be expected. And I think that's the perfect time for them to all retool their factories to deal with EVs. It's very hard for manufacturers, traditional manufacturers, to make ICE cars and electric vehicles side by side. They can take full advantage of this small, short downturn where everything is going to be kind of running slow for a while until we're all fully out of lockdown and fully prepared to start moving around as normal. It's also a big time for them to try and up sales. EVs are new technology, they're cool. People like owning new and cool things. It's why TV manufacturers create a new model and they bring out one little feature and everyone wants to buy the latest and newest HD TV, 4K TV, Ultra, all this new technology. It's all about trying to get you to buy and buy and buy the new thing. And car manufacturers have done that for many years with new models. But now many people are holding off buying a car because they, they're waiting for that next EV. And now is the perfect time for those manufacturers to capitalize on this and start to build them. Start to build more electric cars for you to buy. Now, it's a really important thing to remember that you do not want to be the last one of your friends, neighbors to jump on the EV bandwagon. The last thing you want to do is be the last person to buy an EV. As EVs are going to become more and more popular because of lockdown and because of all the benefits that I've mentioned that people are starting to notice, on compared, not just the cleaner air that you get in town centers, the cheaper running costs, uh, that the fact that there is available grant systems out there currently for EVs, charge points, all these grants need to be capitalized on why they're there. Because what's going to eventually happen is you're going to be the last person that you know to buy an electric vehicle. And that is the worst point to buy one if you still own an ICE vehicle. And the reason why? No one's going to want to buy your ICE vehicle. As you get closer and closer towards being the last dinosaur left with an ICE vehicle, the last thing anyone's going to want to buy is a second-hand ICE vehicle. Everyone's going to want to buy an EV. So your ICE vehicle depreciation on that is going to be bigger and bigger and bigger. The longer and longer you wait, the more money you're going to lose on the traditional ICE vehicle, which is why EVs will go the opposite way. They will in they will keep increasing in value. Second-hand values on EVs have been crazy. I've seen some of the highest second-hand values on EVs I've ever seen, and I never thought they'd carry on climbing. And they will carry on climbing, because as grants get taken away, manufacturers will also keep the prices exactly where they are as they increase battery sizes, technology. In fact, if anything, they might even start to creep up as manufacturers are trying to fill that pothole of not selling you services, parts, things that go wrong on ICE cars that they traditionally make money out of starts to drop, they're going to need to make more money per unit on the car. So that's likely going to see an increase there and as grants drop away. So it's important to take advantage during lockdown if you can to try and make that shift to EVs while you still can. Now I've already mentioned in four some of the stuff I'm going to mention in five which is as you get more and more people buying new EVs there's going to be more dim there's going to be more used EVs hopefully and less and less other EVs but we need to act sooner rather than later if you're thinking of buying a car because like I said these grants are going to disappear road tax free road tax on EVs will disappear um 
other grants will start to disappear. So the sooner you get one, the better. But the main benefit is the more and more of us that do buy EVs, that do buy new EVs, secondhand EVs, we create more used EVs. So there's more cheaper secondhand EVs all the time available for market. But people are snapping those used EVs up because there's more demand currently than supply in the used market. The new market is selling very well. In fact, I think the, the top two most best-selling cars in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the top five category were electric cars. Even during lockdown, electric cars are soaring in demand for purchases new. So the more and more we see that, hopefully they'll start trickling down to second-hand cars. But currently, everyone's trying to snap them up. And I do think that that will increase and increase and increase. This is why, uh, as I spoke with Fiona from Octopus Electric Vehicles the other week, we need to look at more manufacturers, Chinese manufacturers, flooding the market with cheap, affordable used EVs that we can all use. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. If you have, go and leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I will see you again next week.